Well, it was a noble effort, wasn't it? You tried, I'll give you that, you tried. But the public is no man's fool, you know. The public knows what it wants. And you had no right to even try and suggest something different. Anyway, the public doesn't like anything suggestive. He thinks you were before your time. Personally, I don't think we're ever going to reach the time that you're in. Of course, I realise that somebody's got to try something new on television. Got to cross new horizons and pioneer new lands and blaze new trails. But you see, they've got all that on wagon train. And I will say that for the public. They do know a Flint McCulloch when they see one. But I agreed to go along with you. I didn't have to, but I did. I was beginning to get a nice little name with the public too, you know. My records were beginning to sell like hotcakes. Of course, they didn't taste as good, but they were selling as well. You know, I had them all swinging with songs like, If I say I love you, do you, you remember? And I'll never let you go. Why? They don't write them like that anymore. Do you remember? But I agreed to go along with you, but just as an experiment. But you can't argue with the public. As a performer, I have a certain duty towards the public. You see? Anyway, I promised that when you went away that I'd do a show in your memory. I think after everything you and I went through together, it's the least I could do. If I could think of anything less to do, I would do it. But anyway, listen, I promised that I would do a show in memory of your passing. And I think I can promise you that it'll be every bit as good as Gurney Slade, if not worse. Now, but wait a minute. I'm not going to do it the way you want it. Oh, no. This time we're going to do it the way they want it. Yeah, well, personally, I quite enjoyed the show. <laughs> <laughs>